Hello students, uh, welcome to this second live session which we are hosting for engineering graduate students. Uh, our today's topic of this live session would be uh, most commonly asked interview questions. Uh, first of all, uh, uh, let, uh, let us brief that this particular series is organized for second year, third year students so that they can prepare themselves for upcoming campus season. Whatever time period you have right now at your home, utilize this time for enhancing your skills so that whenever we come back and start with our placement season, you will be all set and appear for the campus drives. Compass, companies will do come, but we should be prepared for uh, every possible instance once we get out of this lockdown. Today's session we'll be talking about that what are the most commonly asked questions in a campus interview. Said so, we are not focusing on any specific type of companies into it. Maybe a company which is IT oriented company or a core job oriented company or a sales company or a banking domain job or a finance domain job. No matter what kind of job set it is, there are few set of questions which are most commonly asked by any recruiter. This interview in which these type of questions will be asked may be in the form of a technical interview or it may be an HR interview also. So this particular live session will be focusing on those questions and certain hints will be given to students that how they can frame their own answers to answer these most common questions. All these opinions which are shared in this live session are out of experience and uh, it is recommended to students that they come up with their own version of the answers at the end of video to prepare to these common questions. So let us start this live session with the first question. No matter what type of interview you are giving, whether you are a fresher or an experienced candidate or you are a mechanical student or a comm science student or a civil student or you are giving a technical interview or a nature interview, the very first question which will come from any interviewer to you will be tell me about yourself or introduce yourself. This question looks very simple that why do the interviewer wants me to tell my name? Actually, this is an ice breaking question which is usually asked by the interviewer to you. The answer to this question will make interviewer uh, give interviewer an idea about your thought process so that his next interview process will be based on your response of tell me about yourself. The most effective way of answering this question as far as, far as a fresher student is concerned is by making use of uh, formal adjectives. Now what do I mean by formal adjectives? See I can give you one sample. You can tell the interviewer that I am a hard working engineering graduate student pursuing computer science and engineering with an overall CGPA of 7.2. See, when you describe yourself, you are giving an adjective to it that you are hardworking or you are sincere. No matter uh, uh, how, uh, how you justify this in later part of your interview, but adding uh, proper adjectives to your self-introduction will give a professional touch to your self-introduction. Your self-introduction should also follow a summary of information about your co-curricular activities if you are giving a technical interview. See, your interview panel member might not be interested in what your father is doing and what your mother is doing as far as a technical interview is concerned. He might be more interested in listening that how many courses you have uh, appeared apart from the regular academics or how many paper presentations you have done or how many patents you have published. So if you have certain achievements, instead of listing those achievements in self-introduction, you can give a summary of information by stating like this that I have taken three NPTEL courses apart from my regular academics. I have published two papers and attended three workshops in my tenure of engineering. Giving quantifiable information always shows that how specific you are in building your own career. This also gives a new way where your interview can go. If you give this kind of uh, numeric information to the interviewer, sometimes interviewer tends to ask next question in those directions like he may ask you that what were those workshops that you have attended what were the courses that you have attended or they might be forced to ask you that what were the papers you published and as you people must have done a study about your own resume you can further quantify that information based on that question coming to your way your self-introduction should not be too long it 
may comprise of not more than three sentences as such. So a summarized information would be better enough. We should not take more than say 60 to 90 seconds, I would say, to give yourself introduction. So don't start that you are passionate about doing something else and you ended up doing engineering. So these kind of life stories are not expected in your self introduction. So be specific while giving this answer and try to give quantifiable information so that you tend the interviewer to ask next question in those directions. Another most common asked question in any interview is why do you want to apply for this job or I will rephrase it like why this particular company say for example why Bharat Forge or say why PCS or why Capgemini. So this question is asked uh, in order to understand uh, by the interviewer whether you know about the company, whether you know about the job description, the job profile for which you are applying. So before you appear for the interview, please make sure that you have gone through the job description or the skill set that is required by that company. Please interact with your training and placement officers and understand that what kind of skill set that particular company is uh, looking out for. You can also visit their website, you can also follow their media handles so that you will come to know that in which areas that particular company is working, in which domains, in which verticals they are working, to which clients they are serving. Based on this, you can collect information and you can try to link this information to your own expertise. Say for example, as a science student, I might be interested in learning blockchain technology. And for a XYZ company, if I visit their website and I come to know that they are dealing with certain blockchain related projects and if I add uh, my answer to the question that why XYZ, I can tell that uh, XYZ is dealing with so and so technology, I have visited the website and I am keen to work on such type of projects and learn those new technologies. So this also shows that you are very sincere, you are very serious about taking this this job and you have not casually come just for sake of attending the interview. Another most commonly asked question in any interview process is what are your strengths and weaknesses? This question is very dicey in nature I would say rather. Many of the students have no problem in answering the question of what are your strengths but there are a lot of issues in answering the question that what are weaknesses. See there is absolutely no problem in uh, telling that what are your weaknesses. But the problem lies if you don't spell out any initiative that you are taking to overcome that weakness. You can have list of strengths that you can mention to the interviewer to be realistic. See, true stands at its own end. On realistic front, we can answer them uh, that you are a hard worker or you are a good team member, you are an innovator, supplemented with certain uh, facts. So if you say that I am an uh, innovator and in, uh, bringing innovation is your strength, you should complement it by telling that that I have participated in such as such hackathon and I have secured prize. Anything that you claim as your strength should be supplemented with certain evidence uh, in the form of certain achievement. When it comes to weakness, as I said, there is no problem in claiming your weakness, but you should also list out any initiative that you have taken to overcome that weakness. I will give, I will give you one sample answer how you can answer to this question. I can tell that uh, I am not able to manage my time properly could be one of the weaknesses and in order to overcome this weakness I have taken an initiative that I have started writing sticky notes to my laptop or I have started writing sticky notes to my table where I do my self study. Using the sticky notes I am able to prioritize my work or you can also say that I have started using calendar so that I can arrange my daily work accordingly. See, showing these initi initiatives will also give confidence to the interviewer that no matter if a particular candidate which I am recruiting right now, which is sitting in front of me, is having certain issues, but he also understands that if he has certain issues, how to overcome those uh, issues with help of certain initiatives. Another most common asked question during any interview is uh, at the end of interview that do you have any questions? This is another most commonly asked question in a campus interview during a technical interview or maybe during an HR interview. Mostly HR interviews tend to ask this question that do you have any question for me? See, telling that I have no question shows a casual attitude towards the interview process or uh, asking questions like what is the salary package or uh, what's there uh, in me uh, in this particular job profile sounds very selfish in nature. So we should avoid these kind of questions which are self-centered uh, which tends towards the salary and uh, your role in the company. 
but you can give certain questions to the interview i can give you some sample questions that you can ask you can ask questions related to job like uh, you can ask questions related to career growth in the company you can ask questions related to the culture inside the company you can also ask certain questions related to the interviewer i would say you can you can ask the interviewer that's uh, how long you are working with xyz company so this this tries to create a rapport between you and the interviewer also for that matter so try, don't ask questions which are centered to you rather ask questions which are centered to the company which are centered to the job or you may ask few questions related to interviewer also said so don't ask too many questions one question or maybe two questions more not not more than that one or two questions are more than enough given an opportunity to ask this in most of the interviews as far as the campus interviews are concerned for freshers in technical as well as in hr interview the in, uh, the questions related to projects will come into your direction when we are studying into engineering we do lot of projects we do mini projects uh, in semesters we also do certain mini projects for certain courses and we also do certain mega projects uh, for participating in any industry based contest or hackathons or we also do certain projects major projects as far as our academic credits are concerned all these projects are uh, i would say um, uh, will hold very key uh, part of your interview so if you can align these projects properly in your resume also as i discussed in my last live session if you could supplement that with proper answers Uh, during your interview that will add lot of value to it when you explain your projects during your interviews please make sure that you only don't speak what is written in your resume as i stated in the resume writing live session also that you can write one or two sentences uh, in brief about your project in your resume please make sure if you are talking about your project in your interview you are not spelling out the same sentences that you have written into your resume because your interviewer can read those sentences from your resume what you can tell to your interviewer is you can add supplemented uh, statements to your projects uh, in the form of what kind of modules you have implemented what kind of results you have achieved what kind of publications you have generated out of that project if you can supplement what kind of contest you have participated with that project if you can supplement that data while explaining your project it will add more value see your interviewers are not interested in understanding the detailed methodology of your project but try to see if you are able to convince them the need analysis of that project why you have picked up that problem statement what was the uh, challenges uh, behind uh, solving that pro uh, problem what were the objectives that you defined by solving that problem so if you list out this properly and if you tell this in the interview that will add lot of value they are not interested to listen technical jargon if at all they are interested they'll come up to you by asking detailed questions but initially if they ask you to tell something about your project maybe a final year project or a mini project please see that you uh, spell out proper objectives of of your project and uh, you make the session more engaging see interview process has to be engaging in nature it has to be uh, it should not sound like a monologue see uh, motivate the interviewer to ask questions don't answer questions in short forms like don't ask question like in one word as such or Uh, one phrase as such make proper sentences while answering to your questions your answer should be given in such a way that you motivate the interviewer to ask next question i'll give you one sample for this also say for example if someone asks me uh, about uh, self introduction i would like to end my self introduction with the answer like my final uh, and i have worked on uh, three projects and my current final year project is this and i will tell the statement of my project see if i end my answer with this statement so sometimes the interviewer might be interested in asking you that what you are doing in that project and this is how you consume his next question and you bring him to that area where you are strong enough to answer you can also uh, sometimes tell your favorite courses in your introduction or sometimes the interviewer may also ask you that what is your favorite subject in your tenure of engineering or what is your favorite course in your tenure of engineering see while answering this this question please see that whatever course or whatever technology you are referring to as your favorite subject or your favorite platform you are expert enough to answer majority of questions coming in that particular area in that particular course so try to identify your strength in in a particular course and based on that if if that particular course is matching to the job description uh, or the skill set which company is looking for i would push that you could add uh, that as your favorite course and favorite subject but please see that 
you are preparing accordingly in that subject so that you will be able to answer most of the questions see sometimes if you are not able to answer to a particular question it is absolutely fine you can you can uh, ask for an excuse uh, during the time of interview instead of just sitting uh, idle have proper eye to eye contact when giving your interview see while taking this online session if i start looking at the ceiling if i start looking at the window over here then there will be not a proper interaction that would happen between me and you people so it is very important that a proper eye to eye contact is happening and the interview process is uh, going in a positive direction based on this inputs and whatever questions that i have shared to you i hope all the students who have attended today's live session will try to formulate their own answers i understand there are many students in western maharashtra who have done their schoolings in either semi english medium or marathi medium see language is not a constraint english is not a barrier for that matter if you rehearse properly your answers and if you uh, understand the basic grammar and you be confident while giving your interviews no one can stop you from uh, getting the offer letters from the companies so at the end of this session i would like you to give you an exercise that please work out the answers for yourself for these common asked question that tell me about yourself why do you want to apply for this job or why xyz company what are your strengths and weaknesses do you have any question for me and answers related to your project with this i would like to thank all the students who have joined today's live session i'll come back with more such sessions uh, in due course of time and if you have any specific requirement if you want me to speak on any career related topics you can give the suggestions in the comment sections below so that i'll come up with those live sessions in upcoming days during this pandemic session, uh, season i would like to appeal all the students to follow all the the guidelines which are given by the government stay at home stay safe take care of yourself and your family thank you